this day, day 5, Wednesday 23rd of November 2022, will remain indelible in the annals of the Legacy Volleyball Championship as the day witnessed the semi-finals of the 6th edition of the championship with some unforgettable happenings. The day commenced with the first May semi-final between Logistics and Lekki Volleyball Clubs, both from Lagos State. The two teams tried each other for sizes in all the departments of the game, but the more determined, purposeful and tactical Logistics were able to curtail their opponents and eventually humble them in a straight set at 27-25 25-15 and 25-23 to win the first ticket to the final stage while Lekki will feature in the top place match. Success is, is a collective success. The uh, Air Force Command gave us this support. The, the, the finals will be very technical and we, we are have faith in God that we are going to come out victorious. The second May semi-final match was described as the clash of the Titans as the Nigerian Premier League champions of our volleyball club of Kwara State was humiliated by the host team, Legacy Volleyball Club of Lagos, in the course of the match. The depleted team offer, owing to the exodus of their best players to seek Guinea pastors as professionals, could not withstand the fire brand of Team Legacy, causing them to lose the semi final to the host team, Legacy, in a straight set at 1925, 1925, and 1725. To set through to the final, one of our will be taking on Lucky in the third place match. We stick to our plan, even though we still have a little itch somewhere, which we are still going to uh, analyze later and talk about. But the performance so far has been wonderful. Now, to the female semi finals, which produced the sixth tiebreaker of the championship, an unbelievable and unforgettable upset of the championship. In the first female match, Dynamic Stars of Abuja who have not recorded any loss throughout their group stage matches allowed him elites to force a bitter pill down their throats in this stage of the championship. In their usual way, Dynamic Stars won the first two sets at 25-20 and 25-10, failing to wrap it up in the third set, but the elites came out stronger from 2-0 down, displayed confidence, doggedness and spirit of never say die, equalizing the two sets at 25-23 and 25-21. They went ahead to humble team Dynamic Stars in the fifth set at 15-13 to qualify for the final, while Dynamic Stars awaited the opponent in the third place match. You know, as God will have his way, you know, we came back from 2-0 down and uh, we won the match. I mean, all I can say is we give thanks to the Almighty God for making this happen for us to be sad. A cliche says, ordinary stream that one does not careful about can cause a calamitous disaster sweeping one off to the early grave. This played out in the second female semi-final match as a lowly rated team offer, judging by a set of players paraded, even though they didn't lose a match throughout the group stage, shocked the star-studded host team, team legacy, subjected them to abject humiliation in a fast and speedy stretch set as 25-20 25-17 and 25-20 to move to the final. While Legacy will now take on Dynamic Stars in the third place match. We came, we saw, and we conquered. It was not an easy job, but uh, to the glory of God Almighty, that uh, the little girls of yesterday are now big girls of today, to the glory of God Almighty. With the result, the youthful team offer will be taking on team elite in the epoch-making final, scheduled to be decided at the same venue, indoor sports hall of the National Stadium, through the Lagos. What should the stakeholders expect at the closing of the sixth edition of Legacy Volleyball Championship? Kyle Diladele is the chairman of the Legacy Volleyball Club. The closing ceremony is going to be a bit colorful. Uh, we have so many activities that's going to happen before the final match. One million for male, one million for female. The second prize is five five hundred thousand. While the third prize is two two fifty. Join Kenny Lamb TV doing what he knows how to do best as the championship winds down on Thursday, 24th of November 2022. In Lagos, Nigeria, it's been Kenny Delamidi reporting.